Benito came through at a sadly opportune time. Bad Bunny seems to have thrown his support behind Kamala Harris in her run for the President of the United States. Sadly, his Instagram repost of a video of Harris comes at an opportune time, as comedian Tony Hinchcliffe joked about the Puerto Rican rapper's home country being a floating island of garbage during Republican presidential candidate and convict Donald Trump's rally in Madison Square Garden in New York over the weekend. The video that Messi's Adidas collaborator reposted features the Democratic candidate speaking on Puerto Rico, specifically blasting Trump's response to Hurricane Maria and its devastation to the archipelago back in 2017. However, it's important to note that Bad Bunny has a much more important matter on his mind than the United States presidential election, and that's Puerto Rico's own electoral process. This one Kamala Harris video doesn't amount to the many posts and public statements he recently made calling for an end to the bipartisan politics of the archipelago between pro-statehood and pro-status quo factions. PR continues to suffer under a colonial state and corrupt administrations that have allowed the United States to treat it horribly for over a century. The Monaco reggaeton giant is well aware of this, and hopes the Puerto Rican people will elect progressive candidates that will clean up government malpractice. As such, there's a small but powerful chance that Bad Bunny posted this video not as an endorsement, but as a subtle acknowledgement that Kamala Harris's platform will not address these issues either. After all, his consistent zooms into Harris's face in subsequent IG story posts seem too intentional to not at least scrutinize. But the overwhelmingly likely interpretation is that this is an endorsement, so we won't reach too much. Nevertheless, Benito's principal focus is on Puerto Rico, something that also resonates with Boricuas on the mainland despite harmful bigotry threatening to silence that. Elsewhere, Bad Bunny is still apparently linked to Kendall Jenner, and spent a majority of 2024 rolling out his trap-centric album from last year. Now, his priorities became clearer than ever. With just about a week left for the elections, we invite you to dive deeper into this issue of Puerto Rico if it's unfamiliar to you.